And here we are, Buena Vista, Colorado, AKA BV. Two Springs Solomon S Lab Sense 6 SG type of day uh, going up Pikes Peak, and uh, here they are. I will be racing in the Sense 7 SG in about a month from now, but today we're going to use the Sense 6 and we're going to the well a little bit today. So, in training, uh, I don't you don't want to go into the well, but I do know that I need to approach the well, meaning go a little bit faster up the peak today, um, testing out where my fitness is at. So I'm not going to crush it, but I am going to push a little harder than last week. That is for sure. And yes, streamline it by not wearing a vest. I'll just be wearing, or I'll just be carrying a Nathan handheld with a couple spring energy gels, the GoPro. And oh yeah, I'm not going to be doing as much filming just so you know, because I gotta, I gotta go fast. You know, I gotta, it's that time in the training block with, I say about a month, but it's actually closer to five weeks, which is good. So, all right, let's lace up. I hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, man, just crazy. And then after this, we're heading even further into the mountains. Uh, this is still the front range where I'm at today. All right, lace it up. All right, this is where the Pikes Peak Ascent and Marathon start at the base of uh, at the base of Pikes Peak here at the corner of El Paso Boulevard and Manitou Avenue. In case you're ever in town and you're wondering where the start is, it's right here on the main street, but the cross street is El Paso Boulevard. Okay, just watch out for cars, everybody. It is busy in the summertime. It is busy. All right, up we go. Quarter of the way, quarter of the way. Okay, made it to tree line, made it to tree line. Feeling quite well today. Oh, it's good to be back in the mountains. I just hit the last half mile on the Pikes Peak Ascent, which is called the Golden Stairs, the 16 Golden Stairs. All right. Feeling good. Feeling good. track we are on track ladies and gentlemen I'll get you the time here in a minute gotta go get some water and the easy part is running to the top the hard part is hitchhiking down to the bottom okay, everybody ready in oh good stuff good stuff I'm not going to spend much time up here because I got to drive to BV and I actually can't get to the time yet because I already saved it into the watch and uh, I frankly don't know how to go back and look, Careful, look for it. So, All right, let's go find a ride down. Minus, 
All right, this is where it gets a little interesting. Sticking the thumb out, hitchhiking to the bottom. We shall see. We shall see. It's always a little, little different. A little different, you know. I used to be a big fan of hitchhiking, but. Oh yeah, shout out to the family from Missouri. You guys are the best. So fun to ride down off of Pikes Peak with you guys. Uh, I had to stick out my thumb up there for probably 30 seconds and I got picked up. So that was amazing. Helps a ton because today's a busy day because now I gotta go to the grocery store before heading to Buena Vista in my hometown. Unbelievable. I haven't been back there for I think 12 months at least. So it's about 90 minutes west of here and that's where I'm gonna be camping and running uh, for the next couple days. So Buena Vista, also known as Buena Vista, but the locals call it Buena Vista, AKA BB. All right, see you at the grocery store. got our goods everybody not even kidding I think this is the first shopping uh, grocery shopping trip I've done in eight years since I've been married shout out to true love like I don't know what I'm doing in there I'm just buying I'm just buying stuff trying to keep it as simple as possible but uh, I think we got what we needed so I'm not gonna starve let's just put it that way but man I am NOT I'm not a grocery store kind of guy oh jeez. All right, we got our salads here. I'm gonna eat one right now. See you in BV. And here we are, Buena Vista, Colorado, AKA BV. It's a little windy out, so hopefully you can hear me. Uh, so over the next couple days, I'm gonna show you my high school, the house I grew up in, uh, the cross country course and track that I raced on. Our track, as far as I know, is still a cinder track, so a dirt track and it might be one of the only ones left in the state of Colorado that is not, uh, that is not a Mondo track. So that's pretty amazing, or, or I guess I should say a, a, a rubber track. Uh, so bottom line is this view is what I was able to look at for you know 18 years of my life. I'm gonna show it to you here in a second. So I'd open up my front door at my house and look at this. And so between Leadville and Salida, which are two other towns in the Arkansas Valley, right in the middle is Buena Vista and between those two towns we're talking 14 14ers so you know the 14ers are the mountains that go above 14,000 feet I just ran one this morning Pikes Peak there's 50 well I'll just say there's 58 it's a little debated at times but there's 58 14,000 foot mountains in Colorado and there's 14 of them right out our front door here in Buena Vista now you know why I love running uphill so so much oh it's a beautiful view it looks like we might be getting some rain but other than that it is a beautiful view all right you ready for this here we go i might have to adjust the lighting a little bit uh so i'm gonna start i'm gonna start with mount princeton and this is why the mountains are called the collegiate peaks is because many of them are named after universities around the country and even around the world so there we go there is mount princeton just a picturesque 14,000 foot mountain. Oh yeah. And we got more. Oh, there's Antero and Tabaguach and Shavano all the way down there. And then to the north, we've got even more. This is where the storm. So I might, I might actually do Yale tomorrow. That's Mount Yale right there. And then you've got Harvard and Columbia getting hammered right now. So bottom line, this is my hometown and i'm so excited to share it with all of you it's like you know i live in denver now you guys see denver a lot you see my house in denver a lot but like these are my roots this is these are the roots right here so all right enough talking i'm gonna go get gas gotta go find a coffee shop yes i am gonna do a little shake out after uh after that drive i don't want my legs to get too stiff so we're gonna shake out the legs a little bit show you the hometown oh it's good to be home Here's Town Lake. This is where we went fishing as kids. Catch like 20 fish and we wouldn't put any back. 
we didn't know the rules. Oh yeah, Town Lake. At least that's what we called it. I think it has a more official name. All right, so there is uh, on your screen my current status. I don't know how. Uh, first of all, I don't know if the Wi-Fi is fast enough to upload the daily vlog, but we're gonna try. But there's all my cords. I'm basically the coffee shop I'm at in BV is closed. So I'm sitting on the patio chilling, uh, getting, the, getting the edit done and yes, charging every single battery that I own. Um, okay, so today's time on the Pikes Peak ascent route and I think the GPS was off a little bit along with the time on Strava. I had two hours and 32 minutes uh, for the time and that's very good. That's basically what I wanted to hit. Uh, I was thinking maybe I would dip under 230 but uh, I'm very happy with 232 with basically you know a little over a month to go in training. So uh, and yes the question of the day what is your next race and how do you feel your training is going leading up to the race? Okay, and I've asked this before, but uh, it's been a little while. So I know everyone's getting ready for different races. So I'll be very curious to read your comments. Thanks for hitting it up down below. And uh, I am editing real, real quick tonight because I got to try and go find a place to camp uh, before the rain comes. So it's just going to be a little crazy here the next couple days. But welcome to, B to BV and I will show you more about my hometown in the coming days. All right, sound good? Seek beauty, work hard, and reach out. See you tomorrow.